Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Andy Rocks and in this video we're going to see few ways to clean up or free up your internal storage of your Android device. So no more wasting time, let's get started. There are a few ways that you can free up your internal storage. So the first one that I'm going to talk about is with root. Like if you have root access, you can use this. This is a way that you can delete your unnecessary pre-installed system applications. So you have to just install it and bam, you will be able to delete system pre-installed unnecessary applications. So that may take a lot of space in your smartphones. So what I did with my S8 is it had some, uh, what is it called, S members, S health, all those Samsung pre-installed applications, you know, that you don't really use it for your daily purpose. So you can uninstall those applications using this. And now we are going to talk about the other ways that you can free up your internal storage that's without root. What you have to do is just install this application or this application and you can install both because they clean temporary files so how it works is let's say you use your phone for daily purpose to open gallery or other applications and it, it leaves a bunch of dumb files and these dumb files are unnecessary files that takes a lot of space after using a long time so these two applications that I mentioned in the screen if you install it and they are cleaners you can use this application for temporary purpose not for a long time just temporary purpose if you want to clean up your dumb files you can use this then uninstall it don't keep it for a long time because these applications has ads and it will annoy you and now the third way that I'm going to tell you is if you were using Samsung device or Xiaomi device they have their own unnecessary file cleaner pre-installed on your device so I don't have any Xiaomi phones but I will show you on my Samsung Galaxy S8 now let's jump into this all right guys so now let's see one by one what you have to do is just go to your play store and search here system app remover as you can see here system app remover it says root needed so this method is for all the root users so if you have root access to your device you can install this to remove your system applications so as you can see here you will find all the system applications you can remove from your device so you just have to tap any of them and you will see an option here called uninstall on the bottom if you just hit the uninstall option it will uh, remove the application so i already removed the unnecessary applications that i don't want so i'm not gonna remove it again so once you remove the applications that you want then you can restart your device and it will be good so yeah that's it and now let's go to the second method you can install any cleaners let's say you can install i haven't installed it yet so you can install this it has 4.7 rating but i won't recommend you to keep these applications in your device for a long time because all of these applications have a lot of ads and it, it will destroy your life kind of so just use it and delete it what you have to do is just open it and um, yeah that's okay so here you will you can see junk files just tap on junk files and tap on clean allow wow you can see a lot of junk files it's almost uh, 2 gb almost 2 gb so here you you can see the 360 cleaner found 1.8 gb and here is the bu uh, button of the bottom of my screen that says clean so if you just tap clean it will clean and here you can see all the applications that that i mean these dump files belong to these applications so if you don't want to clean any of this you can just hit the mark option and it won't delete uh, that particular applications dump files so I'm not cleaning it right now. I'm gonna just show you the other cleaner that I mentioned. That's the name of the application is, uh, I think, uh, Clean Master. Yeah, so this is another application. Um, just hit on skip. And then this is the same way it works, guys. Junk files, 
Wow, Clean Master actually found more than the 360 cleaner. It says 2.17 GB. So yeah, now I'm gonna just click clean everything. So just clean. Boom! I emptied with, uh, you see, a lot of ads. A lot of ads. That's why I don't want to keep this application. I just hate it. So you can just clean your device in like once in a month or something and it would be good, you know. I think Clean Master is better than this but these things actually work you will see it's it, it's empty it's freeing up your storage but if you just keep it installed you can see all the thing that will annoy you you can't remove it or something so i what i would recommend is once you used it just uninstall uninstall that's it that's that's how i work like i don't keep these applications in my device for a long time so i just use it and uninstall this and now the last option the last thing that i'm going to show you to clean up your device is just to go to settings then go to your device management and here you can see a lot of options on the bottom of my screen uh, it says uh, one of them is say, uh, saying storage so type on storage and it says clean clean uh, 745 mb so i'm just gonna hit the clean option and yeah this is cleaning my device so you saw guys we cleaned 2.17 gb in uh, clean master and we cleaned 745 mb this is how you can just free up your space in your device and the last bonus tip is to clean up your whatsapp dump because i have seen a lot of people they have been using their whatsapp for a long time and all the all the files that they received are stored in their device for a long time you know like in the whatsapp folder and not only that the whatsapp backup that takes space as well so make sure you delete your uh, unnecessary photos and all those videos and all those things and uh, of course whatsapp backup database as well so i'll show you step by step everything in this video just go to your whatsapp then what you have to do is just tap this three dot options on the right hand side and now what you have to do is just go all the way to the down you see the settings man really just focus bro you can see more options in my whatsapp because uh, this is a different whatsapp that i'm using in this whatsapp you can actually hide your online status your blue ticks your your second ticks your writing status your recording status your blue microphone your high a lot of things guys a lot of things if you want to use this uh, whatsapp this is a modified whatsapp i will put the link right down in the video description you can just download it you can just you have to just uninstall your old whatsapp then you have to install this new whatsapp and you can change your theme as well this is called whatsapp plus so yeah this is not a whatsapp plus tutorial if you want to see whatsapp plus tutorial i have made another video on whatsapp plus so you can just go ahead scroll down to my previous video or i will give the link on this corner you can just tap there okay no worries so just go to your settings then here you can see the data and storage just tap there now this is the thing guys so here you can see uh, when using mobile data let's say somebody somebody sent you something and you don't want to download it so most of the time what whatsapp does is just automatically download the things that you don't really want wanted to download right so what i did is i just did these three things to no media like when i'm using mobile data it will download no media when i'm using whatsapp it will download no media when i'm in roaming it will download no media automatically so what i have to do is just manually download everything you know like let's say somebody sent me something i just have to tap that image or something and it will download but it won't whatsapp won't download those things automatically so i don't have to delete it individually and another thing I, i'm just going to show you is the see the low data usage if you if you are running out of your mobile data you can use this low data usage just put a tick so it will consume less data the last thing that i'm going to show you is to clean up your whatsapp whatsapp uh, storage thing so just go to your file manager then go to your internal storage go all the way to the down to the whatsapp you see whatsapp folder just tap there and you see databases just hold it and delete it that's it 
that's it guys just hold it and delete it because it consumes a lot of things and in the media thing you will file a find a lot of things that you might not see in the gallery so here you can see all the uh, voice memos that you have sent or you have received you see sent pictures and all those things so you can just delete individually those things because you see these things are actually stored in your device so whatever the whoever the person you sent the voice memos and all those things are actually stored in your device not in the server so it consumes a lot of space so you can delete all of these things just i don't want to delete it because i have a lot of space in my device right now but for you if you want to delete it you can delete it like i showed you how how to delete it and where to find those things so you can just tap this these things or delete whatever you want so that's it guys i hope this video was helpful for you if it was don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and if you are new to my channel consider subscribing because i always bring this kind of videos every week and i always try to respond all of you guys so if you have any queries or any problems using any softwares or applications or if you want me to make videos on uh, any topic that you suggest i'll definitely do that so see you rockstars in my next video keep rocking